In the summer of 2002, the remains of a medieval ship were discovered during excavation works for a new arts centre on the banks of the River Usk in Newport. There were four of us on site and we saw a couple of timbers that had been exposed partially by a machine as we'd been removing spoil. And as we tracked what turned out to be the port side, the left-hand side of the ship, it just went on and on and on. And the more we excavated, the more we found of it. So in the end, we decided to take it apart piece by piece. It proved to be quite a difficult job. They built it very well and then lift each timber separately. We removed them one by one and then transported them. What we've got here is 17 tanks full of probably close to 3,000 pieces of ship timber. Our job now is to basically try to put them back together. And first we've got to clean them, we've got to knock all the concretions off, that's the hammering you can hear in the background, and do it very carefully because underneath all that's the surface of the original surface of the timber. And it's got um, inscribed lines, it's got the nail holes. Those are all our clues onto how the ship was built. And then once it's cleaned, we take it over and do the digital recording on it. We draw each timber, digitize it. You can make them look like three-dimensional objects and then you start sticking them together in the computer. And you, what we're trying to go for here is making a three-dimensional, uh, a virtual blueprint. Once that's done, the timbers have to go through conservation, uh, which take probably four to six years. You have to get the uh, water out in a controlled way. The typical traditional method of doing that is uh, using polyethylene glycol, which is kind of a wax-like substance, and you uh, add that to the, to the water. So we're going to take that timber, once it's preserved like that, and we, it has little labels on it so you know what each piece is. And we go back to our blueprint and figure out where it goes and then start our reassembly of the ship. It's, it is one of a kind. It's, there's no other ship like this in the world. There's nothing from this century that's been fully excavated like this. We know that there have been finds in the past, but nothing on this scale of this date has been found in Britain in modern times.